Hello and welcome to Tasting with Mike and Matt. I'm Mike Veach and this is my partner in crime, Matt Cohorst. Howdy. And today we are going to try a product that is really kind of bringing back the past. Okay. It's Leopold Brothers Three Chamber Pot Stilled Rye. Oh, pot stilled. All right. Well, we have done uh, Leopold Brothers Dickel Collaboration with Rye, but now this is just the Leopold Brothers by themselves. Mm -hmm. It's a bottled and bond, 100 proof. It's six years old, batch number 47. And they put all kinds of good information on the back here. It's 80% Abruzzi Rye, 20% Leopold Brothers Floor Malt. Okay. And uh, it's fermentation is 168 hours. Like I said, six years old, batch number 47. Uh, I'm really looking forward to trying this. Yeah. That collaboration was really, really good. Right. You know, well, you know, I like Todd Leopold a lot, and uh, uh, that may prejudice me a little bit. But uh, everything I've had from Leopold Brothers has been excellent whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> So this is made with a three-chambered pot still, which is something that hadn't been done since, uh, uh, I think, probably the 1960s when uh, 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 James Pepper used to have a three-chambered pot still, but he used it as a doubler. This uh, is completely pot stilled whiskey. Really? Yeah. I can tell you immediately. Yeah. That grass. You that get rye, rye, grass. rye grass and you get that malt. Mm hmm. That 20% malt, which I'm really glad to see that they're using 20% malt instead of that 5% malt and using the enzymes to get the complete. You know, Does it almost complexion. give you like almost like an Irish whiskey nose? Am I crazy? Oh. Am I crazy? Possibly. I could be crazy. Possibly. Yeah, I could say. Irish whiskey, but yeah, you know, most Irish whiskeys to me is kind of bland. <laughs> <laughs> this is much more interesting. I'm getting caramel and vanilla, a little bit of a, a little bit of a fruit, and I'm trying to decide: is it apricot? Is it plums? Is it pear? I mean, I just, I, I just love. I think the it's pear. On it. From that more I think about it, just a hint of spice. Probably a white pepper. Yeah, it's a smoke, white pepper and some oak. But that that grassiness is really yeah. well, first and foremost. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's sweet. It's it's got the nice rye and the rye spice, but mm -hmm. man, a, a nice sweet vanilla. Um, First thing that hit me was that pear. Yeah, the pear. Yeah, pear yeah. fruit. Yeah, rye grass. Mm -hmm. Little vanilla. Uh, and it's got that what I call the old whiskey finish. Something that was like it was being made in the fifties and sixties. You get that oak, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, for six years old, you'd expect a lot more oak than you're getting here. Yeah. But you're getting a little bit of spice, like that white pepper, floral pepper. Mm hmm And then you're getting a, a, a little bit of a, a fruity, you know, fermented fruit, what, the way I put it, uh, in the old whiskey flavors. You get a lot of that kind of a fermented peach, apricot, apple, whatever. You know, it's a fruit that's, you know, like... It's been fruit fermented. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I really like this. I, I really just, do too. Just the way it is. You Gosh, know? you know, is it like pear? Maybe even a hint of peach there. I don't know. Yeah. It's yeah. There's there's you well, know, there's a lot going on with this one. It's mm -hmm. a, yeah. I could see you know. As a matter of fact, as longer you know, I'm still getting finish on it, and that fruit is definitely becoming peach. Yeah. This is a really good one, guys. Yeah. I'm really enjoying this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, 
oh, the dried cranberry really brought out the fruit. Mm -hmm. Definitely peach, apricot. There's still that little bit of pear. Maybe even a hint of like lemon. I would go with that. I almost, because I was thinking like, what, what spice is that? But it's almost just like the tanginess of the, the, the lemon, mm -hmm. you know, that it's kind of hit me. It's a, it's like a fruit yeah, bomb. Yeah, and, and the it's spice does bomb. become more of a, a cardamom yeah. than, than that white would, pepper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Finish is nice. Mm -hmm. It's it's a you know it's it's light. The fruit is kind of the finish as well. Mm -hmm. You know, it just kind of sits there with that. Oh yeah. Yeah. With yeah, that car there, cardamom. There, like, there's oak and spice in the finish, like you would expect. Yeah. But that fruitiness is what's really sticking right. around and i'm yeah. still getting fruitiness yeah mm -hmm. i'm really liking this one a lot yeah this is really good it's a surprise for me <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean I, I like leopold brothers but i don't think i've had a ton of it so like well you know i tell you the next time todd leopold's in town and he connects up with me i'll have to get you to come with a meeting excellent person you know yeah very knowledgeable distiller Mm -hmm. uh, great palate just one of my favorite people yeah I can tell all those things by just tasting this yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. let's try it with a pecan Now that really brought out the citrus. Mm-hmm. Nice caramel, caramel. Rich, rich caramel, citrus. Like <clears throat> lemon zest, maybe a hint of tangerine. Mm-hmm. Then the spices are definitely like cardamom. Mm-hmm. Maybe just a hint of ginger. Yeah. And then there's that oak. Mm. Yeah, that oak. It sits nicely, nice and warm. Mm -hmm. It's a good warm feeling. Very, so very nice. tasty. Yeah. Let's try it with chocolate now. That changed it completely. It did. What I like about this one is, um, have you ever had one of those like kind of like spicy chocolates before? Mm -hmm. It kind of it kind of holds the chocolate flavor, um, but then like right mid palate you get like that punch of spice. Yeah. Like yeah, like a cinnamony pepper jelly kind of kind of flavor there. Yeah. Um, and then the, the spice just kind of lingers. So for me, that kind of like turned into almost like a, a spice bomb. Yeah, it kind of took, the, the fruit is there at the very beginning, but it's very light. And yeah. You're right. It goes right into spice. Mm hmm Not and, unpleasantly though. Right. Like it's not like, and, oh, that's too much. It's, it's right. not a spice. And the, uh, uh, the oak is there, but once again, just a really nice balance of oak. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, big fan of this stuff. Yeah, excellent yeah. whiskey. All right. All right, so Todd Leopold and Leopold Brothers, cheers. Cheers. And if you like this video, please hit subscribe. Mm -hmm. Like and the video and leave a comment below. And uh, is this stuff out on the market? Yeah. All right, buy yourself a bottle. Taste it with us. Right. And uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Please drink responsibly.